So, hi everyone, I'm Juan Garcia from IGN Spain and I'm here with Raul Rubio, creative director on Tequila Works. Hi, how are you? We are here to play Ryan, a yes. game that really exists. Thank you for letting us play the game oh, with you. Uh, thanks to you for being here today and what a better way to start the new year uh, than playing Ryan. We, well, finally is there. So, well, uh, Ryan is our baby, has been, well, has been in production for a long, long time, and the, the time for people to, well, to see it and play it uh, has come. So, thanks for your patience. Thank you very much. So, you have woke up in, uh, on a beach, and, uh, well, you are stranded and alone. And that's the beginning of the game. Uh, as you know, Ryan has no dialogues, no, no text, no nothing. So it's a little bit, well, like really feeling like, whoa, a kid. And well, part of the mystery is knowing uh, where you are, what are you doing here, all that kind of stuff, but also having fun and exploring and feeling like, a, well, uh, an eight-year-old kid again, which is not knowing the dangers of the world, uh, not knowing the rules, no, no adults, no nothing. So at the beginning, it's pretty fun. It's, well, it's about exploration and discovery, and well, you have no real purpose. I mean, uh, you can go anywhere, so you can decide to explore the island, but there's a tower over there. And, well, that tower is pretty important. So Rhyme is like a, a traditional game with uh, stages and that kind of stuff, or is well, just in a sandbox? Uh, Rhyme is not a sandbox. Uh, I remember this is an indie game, so uh, we're, well, uh, it's a pretty different kind of experience. It's more about, uh, well, progressing at your own pace and, uh, well, knowing what's behind the hill and uh, finding the fun. So there's no tutorial, as you as you have seen, we have just started the game and, uh, well, nobody's going to tell me what to do, where to go or, well, any of those things. And as you can see, well, I could go, I, I could decide to ignore the tower and everything, uh, for example, I don't know, follow this path, which Looks interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot the, of plat platforming. Yes. Yeah, it's well, it's a pretty accessible experience. I mean, basically, uh, the controls are jumping, uh, and we have a sound mechanic, which is well by is uh, controlled by context sensitive. So, yes, there's some platforming, uh, but then. Uh, we have a lot of physical interaction with the environment and uh, some exotic mechanics that you will see later. Part of the beauty of the game is uh, well, learning just like your avatar on how you can control these mm -hmm. new abilities uh, because well, it's a little bit surrealist in the sense that light is pretty important as you can see. Uh, we, we took inspiration in the Mediterranean so uh, light Trees, uh, the use of shadows, and well, the sound itself or the silence uh, are key to create that experience. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, as we have seen, uh, you are the almost alone on the on the island, but almost. Yes, uh, well, any forbidden uh, paradise is something that at the beginning you, you need to ask yourself, is there anyone there? And then, if that's not the case and you are, well, not truly alone, uh, are the friends, are fools? Uh, Ryan is not a black and white experience about good and evil, so it's very open to interpretation. So in this case, this mysterious statue has well created something. I'm going to follow it and see what happens. Well, uh, 
which were your inspirations for creating this magnificent world? Well, the main inspiration is the Mediterranean itself. Uh, let's not ignore the fact that we are Spanish and we grew up in the Mediterranean. So uh, that light, that uh, as, as you can see, for example, the, the, the shadows itself are, are not, are not uh, black in, in, in this uh, world. So everything is in the warm and calid. So uh, Joaquin Sorolla, the master of light, is a famous Spanish painter, uh, was the main inspiration for the art style. Also the architectural surrealism of Giorgio de Chirico, which is, well, uh, an Ita Whoa, maybe I shouldn't go there. Uh, an Italian, uh, early 20th century, uh, very famous artist, and, uh, well, maybe you are familiar with him. Uh, the negative space of Salvador Dalí, and you will understand why later. Uh, but also classic movies like, uh, for example, uh, Jason and the Argonauts, like uh, another statue, Harryhausen classics. Oh, sorry, I was <laughs> not paying attention. But... Okay. But those are the main inspirations. Uh, this is again about literally about light. And the, well, how we use that light is um, what defines the experience. So now I have these little statues here. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, but there are two other, right? So something happened. Yeah, it seems like that the statue is changing. Uh, I don't know, let's follow this way. Is there any enemy on, on this iPhone? Uh, well, depends, uh, because again, remember, you are a kid. So for you, danger is not a concept that you can measure, and uh, well, nobody can be an enemy, right? But if you mean if. Uh, there's going to be some challenges, the answer is yes, uh, but again, remember, enemy doesn't mean good or evil, uh, which, sorry, I don't want to sound mysterious, but I don't want to spoil your experience. Again, uh, in a couple of minutes, we are going to find other inhabitants, so you can judge if they are enemies or not, okay? You have talked us uh, about the well, the art inspiration, but yeah, gameplay mechanics work, which were your inspiration. Okay, that's a, a little bit trickier uh, because running is a quite unique experience. Uh, again, this kind of uh, open exploration, uh, action puzzle kind of a game is something that well. Uh, the obvious comparisons we have been uh, drawn to are uh, Tinico classics, uh, which uh, I can say that is the, the biggest compliment you can receive, probably. Uh, but it's a very, very kind of gameplay in the sense that, well, uh, here, for example, the focus is in using your ingenuity and, uh, well, literally trying to figure out what's going on uh, because this is not your world. So, okay, nice. Well, answering your question, you are not alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the kind of company you were expecting. But, okay, let's try to... Feed them. Okay. Now I have friends! Yay! <laughs> okay, this is... Had you ever been to Nara in Japan? Uh, the, well, the deers here, uh, there, are quite the same. It's frightening, you know, honesty. So, okay, have it. I don't want it. Well, they are distracted. I will take Let's another one. one. <laughs> oh. They are so cute. And like the seagulls. But <laughs> it's a little bit like uh, the kid and the and the nature on the island. Yeah. Again, is uh, whoa. 
knowing your place, uh, because you're a stranger here, remember, you you are not even a guest. Uh, you have appeared here, but, well, for some of the inhabitants, maybe you are not welcome. Nobody invited you. So, to some extent, you are a trespasser, even if you are a kid, right? But, of course, now I'm playing the nasty human part, which is... Oh Okay, it's pretty difficult to die in this game, but uh, again, it's not the kind of experience we wanted. We, we didn't want to create a frustrating uh, mm -hmm. experience. So, there's no real danger in exploring and failing because, again, you're supposed to be a kid, right? Okay, now... Now you have a fox? No, you have a fox. So, as you can see, this island is pretty magical. Um, it's not Mallorca at all. Well, I know saying Mallorca is not a magical place, yeah. but <laughs> this is a different kind of magic. And this totem thing that you have done, uh, well, you can choose to do it or well, to of, do it? Well, of course, I mean, uh, I, I have played the game so many times that uh, probably I'm, I'm, well, following the shortest path. But uh, yeah, you can, well, you can explore all this part of the island. Uh, my goal is trying to reach the tower, so that's why I was so obsessed with this. But, okay, we have another thing. And this is something that you are going to see a lot of times in the game, like, uh, well, how some elements like these jade statues uh, react to sound, right? And again, uh, how we are going introducing it in, in the game is pretty simple because, again, in this game there are no tutorials, uh, but you will see how important they are as we progress in the game. Now, we are seeing that the game is, uh, looks complete. How close are we from finally playing the final game? Well, uh, as you have seen in the, uh, in the announcement, uh, the game is going to be released this year. Uh, so I could say that the, well, all the content is there, and now we are working on policy and optimization, which is key to any project. Uh, is essential in in, a, in an indie title because again, uh, being indie well doesn't mean that you don't have to have top-notch quality, and that's what people are expecting. I mean, uh, our fans have been waiting for this for years now, so it needs to be perfect. Uh, but Answering your question is almost there. Hmm. Uh, there are many things that, well, uh, as a creator, you can always try to push till the end uh, because I'm a designer. But, and that means that if it would be for us, uh, we wouldn't ever uh, deliver, ever, because, well, uh, there are so many things that you can, you want to put in there. But no, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the team. I mean, they have pulled a pretty solid experience. Uh, you remember, the, I think this this is something that the people could see uh, in the in the previous communication. In the I think it was the the second trailer. And uh, well, you can compare how the area has changed. Uh, I think solar elements are pretty recognizable, like that head over there, which answering what you are thinking. Yes, you can go there, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to follow the fox. What is it? Maybe it's here? Come on, you have done the game, why don't you know yeah, where he is? But Christmas has been crazy, uh, <laughs> so I have better go Hanover. <laughs> and I don't remember many things, but what's this? Okay, so if if we have a game uh, based on exploration, it makes sense that we reward people who are actually exploring. So there are many things hidden in, in the game that maybe are not mandatory to, to finish the experience, but, well, navigation system, pretty solid. Uh, that they, well, uh, are pretty rewarding uh, in, because they complete the story, they make you understand a little bit uh, better what's the background of this world and uh, knowing, well, what's going on. 
but also because it's fun. I mean, uh, we didn't want to, well, to have an excuse for exploration like putting 100 same things. Uh, we wanted the, well, the collectibles to be rewarding. Uh, mm -hmm. For example. Okay, now. Ugh. I know. Sorry, I know I should be faster because now. So we As you can see, Christmas has been pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of platforming, there are puzzles, uh, well, exploration. We have, we have a lot of exploration, we have platforming, but the, again, uh, well, this is not the platforming. I mean, uh, the platforming sections are not frustrating. And I can tell you because I'm super old now, I'm a, my, well, I don't have the reflexes uh, I had when I played Ghosts and Goblins. So, uh, so I can play it, so don't worry. <laughs> You're not going to suffer. But yes, uh, there's a lot of uh, action, exploration, and uh, we have some puzzles too. But the kind of puzzles we have, I'm grabbing this just in case, I don't know. Okay. Maybe we should put an achievement for that. <laughs> uh, but look. Hello, friend. As you have uh, noticed, uh, we have a day night cycle, so now it's at night. Uh, but we wanted to make the experience pleasant, uh, no matter the, the time, right? Hmm. So it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Well. Hmm. Pretty simple, but again, this is how you learn that uh, in this world, just like, well, when you are a child, when you think that something is possible, maybe it's possible here, right? So uh, the ability to create this door is basically because, well, I have this perspective altars uh, throughout the game. Uh, whenever I see one, I know that I can play with that perspective. And in this case, I open this door. So, well, let's go here, why not? But uh, well, maybe we should uh, keep what's yep. behind that door for Cha -chang. for the uh, our users. Uh, to, sure, to see uh, the, the you're totally right. Rank is experience that uh, is better enjoy when you are discovering at your own pace. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, okay. Let's leave it for another time. Do you want to see another part of the island? Maybe. Cha -chang. Thank you very much, Raúl. For Thanks for As showing we, us my your pleasure. magnificent magnificent game. Uh, uh, it's not it's not mine, it's ours. Uh, it's a great team effort and uh, well I can say thank you. Has been a long trip, uh, but I can't imagine how long it has been for all the people waiting for it. So well uh, thanks for your patience and uh, it's almost there. So thanks to you uh, for being able to, to be here today. Mm -hmm. so it's our pleasure. So, thank you very much, uh, we'll see you soon, we have a lot of more content coming from Rhyme, so keep on um, IGN with our IGN first, green all January. See you soon!